Welcome back to the show. Today, since it's Christmas time, we're going to be making Christmas brownies, okay? So, what you're going to need is... Obviously, you're going to need a pan. Uh, and you're going to need one of these whippy things to just beat your children with if they act out of line. Uh, you need your mix, uh, Super Moist Triple Chocolate Fudge Cake Mix, what we're doing today, honey. But, uh, we're going to be doing it as cupcakes, because I prefer the cupcakes. You, you dog, get away from my table. Go, shoo. Okay, so we have these uh, three eggs, three large white eggs. Uh, we have half a cup of vegetable oil and a cup and a fourth of water. Plus, we also have a bowl to put everything in. So that's what you're gonna need. So that, that's all that you need. That's all you need, sweetie. So the first thing we're gonna wanna do is to get our bowl, a nice white large bowl and our little beet stick, okay? <laughs> and then we get our, our cake mix, as you can see here. And now we need to bust it open. Be real gentle. Keep the box. You need the instructions for this. Now we have a nice, great cocaine. I mean, cake mix. Okay. So it says, "Oh, hold on. I have to. Eat the, I have to heat the oven." One moment. All right. So we're back. Uh, we're heating the pan for 350. Um, let me see. Okay, so what we need to do is we need to mix the cakes. We need to mix the cake mix. We need to mix the water. We need to mix the oil and the eggs in a large bowl with mixer on medium speed. Beat vigorously by hand for two minutes. Pour into the pan. Okay, let's let's get this started. Okay, let me roll up my sleeves. <laughs> Don't want to get them dirty, but I never take off my rings. Just never, honey, never. Okay, like that, like that. Wow, this thing's strong like my grandson. Hold on. Let me get some scissors. Okay, so we have it open now. We're just gonna dump it in. Just all in. Just gonna go all in. Just like me at Bingo. Okay. We're gonna toss this in the trash. Right off screen, folks. Right off screen. Okay, so next we need to mix in our eggs. Let's do our eggs. Okay, let's see. Now, I set these eggs out about 10 minutes ago, so they're kind of sweaty, uh, but that's okay. It gives it some character. Okay, let's see. Uh, first you need to do is crack your egg, obviously. And you just dump it right in there. Okay, no eggshells, no eggshells. And we don't do any of that sissy egg whites or any of that, because we, we're real here, okay? You listen to me, we're real. Ugh. No egg whites, no egg whites. That's, that's great. Just toss them in the trash, right off camera, right off camera. It's just fun. Oh, oh, that's beautiful. Oh, just love the look of eggs. Mm. Okay, so now you need to wash your hands promptly before salmonella can take root. You don't want to die, sweetie. Make sure you use soap. Okay, so now that we have the eggs in, we need to add our oil and our water. Okay. Let's add the oil first. This is half a cup of uh, vegetable oil, but I don't have vegetable oil, so I use canola. I don't know if that's gonna mess it up, but we don't, we don't, we'll, we'll, we'll be okay, okay? Okay. Okay, so now we have our cup and a fourth of water. And again, this is actually just a cup because I can't fit a fourth in here, so I gotta go off screen, fill up some more water. Just nice cold tap water. That's all you need, sweetie. That's all you need. That's all you need. Okay, so now we're done with that. What I'm gonna do is fix my ring again. Okay. You being stubborn ring. Alright. So now we need to beat vigorously for two minutes by hand. Okay. So I'm just playing with you. Uh, let's get our little beat stick, our mixer, and we're just gonna nicely just tuck it into each other like I do my grandkids. Okay? Okay. You just do that, okay? Just keep spinning. Look, you see? Look at that. Can you see that? That's just a beautiful cake. This cake reminds me of my husband. Brown and creamy. They say two minutes, but it's really just when the batter looks good, you know. Make sure you scrape the bottom. You don't want anything sticking to the bottom or you have crumbly bits in your cake. It's never too good when you have crumbly bits. I should know. Yeah, I've done it before. That looks good to me, but I'm just gonna go a little bit longer because you can never be too careful. Just scrape the 
sides all down this is a fun recipe to do with your family just like I do with my grandkids if they'd ever visit me alright so we're done with that now we're just gonna want to scrape the sides scrape them real nice and we're gonna set this aside okay we're gonna put it on our box just for now all right there we go so what we're gonna want to do now is actually let me read the instructions uh, bake as directed and chart until toothpick inserted in the center comes out clean cool for 10 minutes before removal of the pan cool completely before frosting okay now that looks good to me so what we're gonna need to do we have a cupcake it makes 24 or well, we have only uh what is this 12. so i have a great idea i'm gonna get a separate pan i'm gonna cook it underneath the other one so that then we can cut out little shapes and put them on top of our of our brownies and it's gonna look great okay just trust me trust me grandma's done it before okay so we have our pan let's scoop this over right there we have our pan we need to grease it which i don't have Okay, so I'm back, and we have our baker's joy. You just want to give it a little shake. That's all you need to do, and just give it a light spritz. Perfect. Okay, there's a little bit of a mess, but it'll go away. It's okay. It's okay. The tablecloth can be cleaned. I'm gonna get on there. I'm gonna set that over there, and we're just gonna let it soak and settle for a minute. So while we wait, uh, let's talk about my grandkids. Okay. Last Christmas, my grandkids got me a wonderful brooch, and I loved it. It was a nice little beetle, and it just sat there perfectly right beside my clavicle. And, oh, things are done. And we're gonna get uh, one hand on the bottom, one hand on a little hole that there for your hands. We're gonna pull about half full. It's gonna give us a good rise from our brownies. So, all right, let's just stop pouring. Stop talking. Okay, so we're gonna pour nice and slow. Let it come out like the quicksand that killed your husband in Africa. That's great. Okay. Oh, that's too much. Okay. Uh, a little too much is okay because then you'll have a really fluffy uh, brownie. So it'll be great. It's okay. And just, just keep it moving. Just don't stop. It's fine. You can always go back and fill. Oh, you can always go back and fill in whatever you miss. If anything's a little bit less than the others, you just go back and reapply the uh, mixture to it. There are, no, there are no mistakes in this kitchen. <laughs> Look at me as I say that I make a mistake. That wasn't a mistake. It's okay. It's okay. It's just an accident. No mistakes here. Mm. All right. So I'm done here, and I'm gonna fill up this one a little bit, just a tiny bit. What I'm going to do now is that this is still kind of full, so I'm going to get a plastic spoon, which you should always have handy in your kitchen. I'm going to get a plastic spoon, and what I'm going to do is I'm get about a dip of each and put it back in here so that we can cook it on a separate tray. Okay, so I'm going to give this one a little dip. I'm going to pull it closer, too, so I don't trip it on my tablecloth. Got this last Christmas. I don't want it to be all dirty. Even though it can be cleaned, it's always best to try and not get it dirty in the first place. It's bad, it's so gooey, it reminds me of my, my summer vacation in 69. Okay, now that we've made a, quite a nice mess, we're going to get another pan and we're going to cook this with it so that we can like do little cookie cutter shapes and stick it on top with some toothpicks, okay? So, uh, we'll be right back. Okay, so while we're here, uh, I've already poured this pan of brownies and I've got this one here and I want to make sure always remember to take your, your mix whatever it is and to let it drop a few times before you put it in so that the old air bubbles rise to the top so that you don't get like bubbly brownies you don't want them okay okay so that's all done we're gonna put it in the oven for, let's see, we're gonna put it in the oven for about, hmm, let's just say 14 minutes, 14 to 20 minutes. Let's just check, okay? Okay, so we're gonna take this, 
gonna come off camera again. Hey guys, did you uh, did you like that video? Uh, it's been a few hours since I filmed it, and like some things came up. I have some bad news to where uh, I tried filming differently to where I used my front facing camera so I could know if I was in frame or not. Uh, it recorded it in 26 FPS instead of the 30 that I need and I couldn't change it so all of the film in my project was basically rendered useless at that point. You didn't miss much, just me taking the cupcakes out of the pan and cutting shapes out of them. I mean that was really it and then planning it up. I tried to go stereotypical uh, baking show so I had like that super cheesy uh, guitar strumming in the background with those cross dissolve fades and the the, the glowing uh, lens flare uh, title screen that's what I tried doing something like that and I think it came out pretty well I'm actually quite proud of that video uh, there's one thing that I regret doing and it is doing my hair I tried to do it like an elderly woman uh, with curly short hair they tease it up and kinda like create a lot of volume up here so what I did was basically uh, tip my head over down here, pull my hair up, spray, uh, like just lay on the hairspray, I probably hurt the environment, just lay it on there and then took a little teasing comb and just teased it all up so it stood like straight up, then put a headband in there so it would stay back and also for like an added accessory. Also, it didn't match but I had like clip-on earrings that were my sister's that I found in one of her drawers and it was just a little peace sign. I was dressing for like Christmas theme but it didn't match and I had to have earrings in my mind because I was like that would just be the cherry on top. You couldn't see it very well but I was wearing eyeshadow and I did my brows. You can definitely tell I did my brows. They're very dark. I was trying to do like really crappily drawn eyeliner to make it look like she does makeup herself and she's not that good at it and I even put some lipstick on. I was looking for a red to be like that like stereotypical blue eyeshadow with a red lip but that didn't work out so I got like a pinky color and it kinda wore off throughout the video but I mean with my character chaos there's a pun in there for you to figure out she's not like other baking people cuz she kinda has a, a a crazy streak anyway that's the end of the video if you enjoyed it leave a like comment subscribe tell me what you thought about the baking video tell me what you thought about chaos tell me about anything that I can change any new outfit ideas any new makeup ideas any new recipes that you want her to try out and I'll see you in the next one